Welcome to Up Late, everyone. I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Aisha Howard. First tonight, a shakeup at the VA in Atlanta. Two top administrators and seven staffers removed, effective immediately. Now, this is all because of how a veteran suffered and died earlier this month. Air Force veteran Joel Maribel was covered and bitten by hundreds of ants in his room. Even as he was under care for stage four cancer, Maribel died several days later. And John Sherrick has more on the fallout. The VA's regional director for three states based in Atlanta out along with eight others at the VA in Atlanta. The shakeup just the beginning of the VA investigation into the case of Air Force veteran Joel Marable and what Marable endured in his room in Atlanta as he was dying of stage four cancer. Marable's daughter, Laquana Ross, discovered earlier this month that he had been covered with ants that had filled his room at the VA's Eagle's Nest Community Living Center. He was bitten all over his body, unable to move to get away for at least two days. Ross spoke up. Georgia Senator Johnny Isaacson personally intervened. Marable succumbed to his cancer several days later. Now the VA has removed its regional director, identified on its website as Leslie Wiggins, effective immediately. Wiggins is on administrative leave and its chief medical officer in Atlanta, assigned to administrative duties, plus seven staffers removed from patient care. Dr. Richard Stone of the Veterans Health Administration says what happened at Eagle's Nest was unacceptable. We are determined to restore trust in the facility. Marable's daughter, as she told us last week, angry. My dad served this country. In this particular case, I felt betrayed. Ross believes that what her father suffered at the facility in Atlanta just before his death will lead to change at the VA to protect veterans from now on. In his legacy, he would want to be known as someone that was compassionate, someone that cared, and someone that did the right thing. It's an opportunity for change. I do believe that it's that, that change will happen, and I am glad that my father's story is the reason. Ironically, the two top people caught up in this investigation and removed were both brought in as part of previous shakeups aimed at fixing Atlanta's troubled VA facility.